guys, I'm back. It's your boy DeAnthony from Break Room Blitz. So, just got through watching Season 7, Episode 7 of The Walking Dead. Now, I don't know about you guys. I don't know what you guys are watching. But, this season just kind of sucks. Uh, There's a lot of boring story arcs. There's a lot of unnecessary story arcs. A lot of terrible storytelling. Um, I'm just not really feeling it. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about the other fans. I don't know about, you know, the Walking Dead Twitter feed, what's going on there. But as far as me, this shit is whack. Now, we had an hour and a half episode. Hour and a half of nothing. There's supposed to be this awesome, you know, Carl jumping out of the... Uh, out of the truck and just like mowing people down and we didn't get none of that What is going on? Please tell me why I should even care uh, you Just that is just me. Maybe I'm just the only one the only diehard fan that sees the terrible terrible story arc Maybe I'm just tripping so you guys let me know because what I'm seeing is just stuff I don't care about just gonna be honest. So this is what we got in the episode. So Carl and Jesus are in the truck. Now, that's cool. I don't I'm, I don't think they should even went in the truck, but that's just me personally. So they're in the truck. The two guys that are driving the truck, I guess they stopped because there was a bunch of a herd of walkers and they had to, you know, wait. So they're hiding or whatnot. So then the work the herd leaves and then they start going again. So Jesus is like, we got to jump out. It's going slow enough. All you got to do is roll with it, and you'll be good. Carl's like, well, won't you just show me how? You go first. You go first. And I, I, I just watch. Go ahead. Go ahead. So Jesus get fooled into jumping off of a truck. Now, he could have bust his elbow. He could have bust his knee. He could have uh, bust his head. And this little boy is like, deuce. Peace out, bruh. I don't know about you, but I'm going to Negan. You can you can stay out here and walk and scope it out, but me personally, I'll be a Negan's. They didn't get some Negan's, and what does he do? Nothing. He does absolutely nothing. He shoots the guy. He lets one guy go. He's like, "Where's Negan at? Where's Negan? Where's Negan?" Negan shows up, no gun, no no Lucille, nothing, and he just walks up and was like, "Oh." I like you. So Negan is jumps, jumps behind or pulls another guy in front of him. And instead of Carl shooting through them, this is Negan. This is Negan. This is Negan's henchman. You got to shoot through them, bro. He gets all scared. They tackle him. And then now him and Negan are best friends. I just don't care to see that. I don't know. I would have liked some struggle, a shootout, something. Give me something awesome. If you're not going to kill Carl, I get it, because Carl is, maybe he's a, an important character, so don't kill him, but let this be an epic moment for Carl. Carl! Carl! Where's Carl? Carl! You need to give him something awesome! This, what we got, was just lazy to me. You know, he needs to be a, needs to be a shootout. Where's Negan? And I'm going to just be killing people until I find him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it needs to be die hard. You kill my friends, you are threatening us as a community, you gotta go. But no, we don't get that. Now, the part I did like was when they let Carl's eye open. Uh, you got to actually see it, because I'm tired of those, that, that, that rinky-dink medical eye patch thing they got going on there. I don't know what's happening with that. That needs to, to go away. So I'm glad that they that finally took that off. And he starts crying. I'm like, bro, why are you crying? Stop with the crying, man. You hate this dude right here. You hate this dude. You should be ready. You should be ready to fire on this dude. Like you say once. What you say but mine? You should be ready to fire off on this dude. Now they could have let Carl fire off on him. Negan wrestles him down. Like, say one more thing. I'ma choke you out. And that'd have been a better scene. Negan is like, sing me a song. And out of all the songs, so, so Carl said, I don't know any songs. He said, well, sing me something your mama used to sing me. Sing me something your dad used to play in the car. Out of all the songs he sings, he sings some whack 
lullaby. You don't sing no lullaby from no dude with no badness trap that killed your friends, bruh. You don't do that. What is happening on this show? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Don't you take my sunshine away. What? That's the song you decide to sing in front of Negan? Bro, bro. I, I, know, I know you're young. I know you're like 15, 16. But you gotta have another song than that, right? You can't like sing something hardcore. Like, I don't know. Like, can't think of a song that he could have sung. But, there gotta be some other song he could have sang. Just saying. Just saying. So, Negan, now, this is kind of, <laughs> um, kind of cool. He has a, pretty much a whole room. He got his own concubine, his own whorehouse or whatever. Like, he just sleep with all the women. Any man at that place that got a woman, she becomes his wife. Uh, I, I mean, if you got dudes with fine wives that they just let you have them, do your thing, man. So, apparently... One of, one of his wives snuck back to her real husband, and Negan's upset about that. And he almost threatened to, you know, send that girl to wherever they work at. I guess he works at some terrible place. And she was like, oh, don't send me there. Don't send me there. So, but Negan ain't forgot, so he dealt with her. Now he got to deal with him. So, apparently he, had, he works in this factory of people. I don't know what they're doing and what they're working on, but anyway, he pretty much, he burns his face off pretty much with an iron and a dude just passes out. I don't know, man. I feel like you, you, I'm not going to just sit there and let you burn my face with an iron. I'll be trying to run, get away, move it, something. Um, but maybe I'm just not in that situation. Maybe I'm supposed to be in that mentality to where Look, my life is just worth so much that I would just put up with anything and everything. And maybe since I'm not in that world, I just don't understand. Like, you can never hit me over the head with a bat without me, like, dodging or blocking. That just wouldn't happen. But maybe in that world, I would feel differently. So, the man got burned with an iron. Um, honestly, even though special effects were just um, very mediocre. I'm just gonna be honest. It was just a mediocre episode. It was an hour and a half of nothing. I'm like, really? Nothing? I mean, it's kind of cool, but it could have been done better. Like, I feel like they're just hoarding all the money for themselves with all the producers and stuff and not actually putting it into the production of the show. I put it into the writing of the show and we get this lackluster show and it's just not I just don't like it the iron scene could have been better so then towards the end of this whole hour and a half Carl's like stop threatening me if you was gonna do something you would have did it you ain't gonna do shit so what you ain't gonna kill us you ain't kill me cause you can't cause you can't he didn't say it like that the way I said it was so much cooler than how Carl said it but that's what he said so Negan is like maybe you're right let's go for a ride and he goes down to Alexandria. So they're in Alexandria. And he's like, take me, take me on a tour. And so they go on a tour. He goes, now I'm like, Carl, why would you take him to your house? You don't take him to your house, Carl. Maybe there's nowhere else to take him. I don't know. But your little sister there, man. You gonna let your little sister get handled by Negan? Is that what you're going to do, Carl? Is that how tough you are, Carl? You just let strangers, you let enemies... Hold your baby sister, Carl. Is that what you do? Really? So, Negan is making himself at home. He having tea and lemonade. And he insults, I forget her name, but a heavier sized chick. I don't know how to say that without being uh, mean. So, but anyway, he insults her. Then he apologizes and said, I want to sleep with you. She slaps him. I thought that was kind of cool. That she actually has some backbone and not be crying and stuff. Uh, slaps him. And, and then it ends with him and Carl having lemonade on the porch with his baby sister. And he's talking to the baby sister. So he's talking to Carl while he's looking at the baby sister about how I should kill y'all. He's like, you know what, Carl? I should kill you guys. I've been thinking about it. Why am I working so hard, right? I'm like, Carl, man, what's wrong with you? You don't got, I don't know. Carl just sitting there like, well, he's showing interest, so 
I'm gonna just sit here and see what happens. So anyway, I didn't like the episode. I think that the show is falling apart. They had the lowest ratings that they've ever had since like season two. And honestly, I get it. I understand. So maybe not everyone feels that way. A lot of people said they haven't even watched this season. You know, and I, I can't even defend them. Defend, I can't even defend the season because if they did watch it, they would be just disappointed. So I'm like, well, don't waste your time. Uh, I'll watch it for you guys so I can do the review and you guys can see if you should have watched the episode or not. Or if you should just wait till they're all done, download them and binge watch them. Or the more legal way is to wait until they're on Netflix and then binge watch them that way. <laughs> but in any case, you don't need to wait every week. For me, personally, I think the, the last episode is, is the mid-season finale, and it's going to be garbage, and it's going to just be irrelevant. But that's just me. That's my that's my review. I didn't, I don't like it. I don't agree with anything that, that happened. I think it could have been way cooler. It could have been way better. It could have been written better. Um, there's nothing intelligent about this. I get no intellectual value. I get no uh, thriller value or shock value. Um, I have no real reason to watch again, except for I've, I'm already invested in the show. But if I was a newcomer, just watching this episode, I'd be like, why am I, Why would I even want to watch it next week? So that's just me. You guys let me know. Oh, question of the day. Is Carl a little punk for not standing up to Negan a little better? Or is he just a teenager and he can't be held accountable to take out Negan. Let me know because I feel like Carl just failed this whole episode. We can finally get a, a whole episode of Carl and I feel like it's a fail. So you guys let me know did Carl fail or not. Alright guys, I'm DeAnthony from Break Room Blitz. Take a look at our other stuff. It should be on one of these things so you can go ahead and click that. Check out our other movie reviews and things like that. And uh, also, uh, just be aware we are doing that giveaway. So look out for our uh, Star Wars uh, our favorite Star Wars video, we're going to do that. Our favorite Star Wars video, say which ones that we like are, are best in, in the order. And you guys let us know in the comments. And then from those comments, whoever comment, that's who we're going to be giving that giveaway to. So, alright guys, I'm DeAnthony from Break Room Blitz, and I'm out. Peace.